All right, so as many of you probably already know as of now, Witch's Wheel at Cedar Point is being removed. Now, I feel like this is somewhat deja vu because about a month and a half ago, two months ago, we made a video on uh, assuming that this ride was going to be removed for a much um, higher capacity and higher thrill uh, flat ride for the 2019 season. So now with Cedar Point officially announcing the removal of Witch's Wheel, one would assume it's going to be replaced or enhanced into something else in the park. Now that's where I want you guys to comment down below. What do you guys think is going to happen to this location? Is it going to turn into a possible, I don't know, let's say anything, restaurant, game, um, maybe even theming feature like a, a water fountain. And I mean like a viewing water fountain, not a drinking water fountain. Um, or is it going to be a flat ride? In my opinion, it's obviously probably going to be a flat ride like I predicted in my previous video two months ago. So when I think flat rides and I think of what Cedar Fair has been doing to Cedar Point, I think of better looking flat rides. So for example, we look at Canada's Wonderland and they've been getting some really gorgeous flat ride additions at their park. And I expect the same to be at Cedar Point considering Cedar Point is the flagship park. So when I think of flat rides, I think of which ones could fit at Cedar Point and work with, you know, the crowds. And uh, Cedar Point is a very enthusiast uh, theme park compared to other parks in the chain. In fact, more enthusiasts go to Cedar Point, in my opinion, I could be wrong here, um, than any other theme park or amusement park in North America. I think that's definitely like the, the spawn of enthusiasts. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely think uh, this flat ride right here would be a great fit. I think something like Lumberjack would fit in really well at Cedar Point. Um, but I think there's one more flat ride that would fit better. Now, there's obviously various flat rides that could work at Cedar Point, and I'm not going to list them all because I feel like I could go on for about like, uh, you know, six hours making a video on which flat rides would work at Cedar Point. I'm looking at what we've already seen at other parks. We know in the past Canada's Wonderland has been that test park. And um, so I'm looking at Canada's Wonderland's flat ride collection to figure out what could really fit in at Cedar Point. Now, we know that they're not going to get Sledgehammer. But there is this new flat ride. Well, it's not new, but it's new to Cedar Fair. Skyhawk. Um, one of these sky rollers would work extremely well at Cedar Point. In fact, it is an enthusiast attraction as well. If you look, not too many people know how to flip on this attraction other than the, if you can spot the two enthusiasts riding this, um, <laughs> the others don't flip because they don't know how. But this attraction would do phenomenal at Cedar Point. In fact, I feel like the general public as well as the enthusiasts would eat this up. And if done better than at Canada's Wonderland, teaching guests how to flip would be even, like, would add that like extra flair to it. Um, I find that the, uh, the line's never long enough for this attraction at Canada's Wonderland for guests to learn how to flip. They definitely um, have the signs that tell you how to flip. But I think an informational video in the queue line would do wonders for this attraction a lot of people at wonderland complain coming off this i didn't get any flips i didn't get any flips this is boring well i feel like just a video could solve that problem anyways let's get back on topic i think this is probably what's going to come to cedar fair or cedar point <laughs> gp um so a sky roller would be the perfect fit for cedar point in my opinion and i have a feeling this is what cedar point's going to announce for the 2019 season along with some great upgrades around the park. I expect a family edition too. I mean, Canada's Wonderland gets a family edition and a thrill edition usually each year. So I couldn't, I wouldn't put it past us to see the same thing at Cedar Point. I mean, and again, it is the flagship park. Um, what do you guys think? What do you think is coming to Cedar Point in 2019? I want to hear from you down below. Um, and uh, I look forward to your interesting ideas as we get closer to the announcement day for Cedar Fair Parks. Anyways, Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this videos for others to see. Have a good one, guys. Bye.